Send me your location. Let's focus on communicating. I haven't done a day in my life in a while, so I thought I'd just take you guys through through a typical day for me. So right now it's lunchtime, and I'm sitting in my car working on my bullet journal which if you guys want me to do a video about this then let me know um feeling really good like i i'm in a like, i'm in really good spirits like 2017 thus far has been um a great year um so far now granted we're only what 30 30 days in right 31 days in today is the last day of january that's crazy and you know like I just feel I feel good I feel like I've been really productive I feel like the year is off to a good start and I feel like you know things are going well um, but this year um, I wanted to I wanted to give my year a, a word like a central or central word to describe the entire year and that word I have decided is the word focus this year is last year was awesome last year so many things happened um i got married um i had tried i had a last year was the year of like first experiences but my life for me is always has always been about making sure i experience life to its fullest and 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 try things for the first time and um live life to its absolute fullest. I talked a lot about this in my goal video following my honeymoon. Um, so that's always been a thing. Last year was that exactly. It was, it was a year of all these different experiences. I went to Las Vegas for the first time. I, I, I experienced a lot of firsts last year and I want that to continue obviously throughout my life. Um, but this year is the year that I transition into a new career. It's a year, the year that I actually bring all of the hard work and all of the determination and all of my all of my dreams that I've had for myself not all of them but the big the big dreams I've had for myself I that that's this is the time where it all comes to fruition this is the year that I make some major changes in my life and I'm really excited about it because I just feel like it's going to happen I I'm not worried about how I'm not really worried about when so so much. I just know what's going to happen. Um, so I'm excited, but this year I know I have to be and remain focused on the my purpose and what I'm doing everything for. No time for games, no time for uh, worrying about small things, small people. No time for stressing about things I can't change. There's no time to like, really give energy to things that you know don't feed my purpose don't things that only debit my account but don't credit me you know what I mean and I feel like it's time it was it's been time and I've acknowledged that I just made some necessary changes to make sure that I am as focused as possible on what I need to be focused on what do I need to be focused on finishing out this semester small as strong as possible um, graduating from law school taking a moment to just enjoy that accomplishment alone and then moving on into the bar prep phase of life where for the those two and a half months I'm just I'm just focused solely on just preparing for the bar which is going to be kind of crazy I have a f quite a few classmates who are going through the bar prep uh, course right now because I'll be taking the February bar and it is a lot of work and I have to figure out my work schedule and how I'm going to how I'm going to structure my study schedule about around a work schedule because I can't not work for those two and a half months so I have a lot to do this year and it's gonna require a lot of distraction free focus and anytime you have a huge goal that you're on the brink of accomplishing there's always going to be things that are going to try to deter you there's always going to be people situations, friends family who are going to try to deter you and stop you from getting to where you're trying to go and it's up to you to either eliminate those things minimize those things or just try to alleviate yourself of the pressure of having to deal with those things while you try to accomplish the goal you have in front of you this isn't easy um, but it's necessary you will never ever it'll be very difficult to forgive yourself for not 
changing things that you have the power to change in order to keep yourself focused. 2016 was a, was a major year for me, but 2017 is gonna be even better because 2016 happened. 2017 is the year that I become an attorney. 2017 is the year that I accomplished what I said I would do. It's gonna happen. I'm about three months out. That's crazy. <laughs> In the meantime, my birthday is next week. Um, Tony says he has plans, but I'm not sure what they are. I'm excited to see what they are. Um, my birthday is the 11th of February. And um, so shout out to my Aquarius gang. And yeah, like life is good. Like I feel, I feel really, I feel really good. And I feel like all of the decisions I've made up until this point have been for my good and for my happiness and my joy and I have a family and a husband that supports me 100% which I'm so grateful for and I feel like things are falling I have already been falling into place for me and um, I have a feeling of content because everything I know everything is gonna be fine everything will be fine I just have to get through these major hurdles of graduating <laughs> and taking the bar God is good guys um, keep prayer at the center of everything talk to God daily talk to God when you're talking to other people just talk to God because he's gonna lead he'll lead you to exactly where you need to be as long as you're willing to work for it I love you guys thank you guys so much for your support and I'll see you guys in the next clip. The I don't have class until um, 7.45 p.m. But I packed um, dinner. And yeah, I packed dinner and I packed um, my books so I can study and look over stuff and everything like that. So here we go. Okay, guys. So I'm on my way home. It is 9.46 p.m. And my feet hurt and I'm tired and I need to wash my hair and I need to pack lunch for tomorrow but this is a typical day in my life 10-hour work days time chilling waiting for class and then class itself and then driving home so this is this is the situation this is what it is this is what part-time a part-time law student goes through as long as you're if you're working I mean you could be a part-time law student and not go to work but um, but yeah like this is this is my reality and um, 10 10.09 10 p.m. and hubby's not even home yet so he must have gotten off a little later from his shift anyway I'm gonna call it a night. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell um, so that you guys can be notified every time I upload. Just don't forget to focus. Focus on your goals. Focus on you. Focus on making yourself the best version of you you can be. That's all you can do. Talk to you guys later. Peace.